But the main thing is for me that the visa liberalization makes it easy for people to connect, whether it's going for the football European Championship in Germany this summer, or just business, you know, or you go for, you know, like people, uh, media people who just can enter the plane and have, uh, have a meeting. No, I think it was never a fear um, on our side because this visa liberalization means visa for tourists. And uh, of course there might be some people like in other states uh, where you have visa liberalization who stay, uh, you know, for other purposes work under the table. But that's not a mass phenomenon. I well, would say 90% of the people are just to have a look. And interesting because a majority of of ambassadors, including EU representatives, believed this would be abused. Of the record, they feared a lot that the tourist visa would be abused. Yeah, some do it, but we, we don't see that. That's the first thing. What we see is, of course, uh, the German embassy is still busy uh, in uh, issuing visas for you know family reunion uh, work. And uh, since Germany is in a process of liberalizing its immigration laws, um, not for, uh, for Kosovo, for the whole uh, world, because we need uh, skilled workers. This will also increase opportunities for citizens on the Western Balkans, including Kosovo, to emigrate. And I think the numbers will, will rise. They already, uh, you know, they are high because Germany is a traditional immigration country for Western Balkan countries and especially for Kosovo. But how has this process <coughs> speeded up for people who now well, don't have to go on the same line as tourist visas. Is life becoming faster and more efficient for emigration visas compared to before? How faster? How much faster? No, we had, for example, three years ago, we had long waiting lists for a family reunion. Uh, we also increased our personnel, so the, the waiting times have, have uh, decreased a lot. To what? Uh, Roughly? Huh? Roughly? I mean, it was 18 months, three years ago, oh for, a, for, a, for a, um, a scheduled appointment. Now? Now it's very short. I mean, it's now it's uh, a matter of weeks. Mm. So that has been solved. But, you know, if the numbers are increasing again, uh, because, you know, uh, not only Germany, other countries, we need people in hospitality, we need in the long-term long -term care business, drivers, you know, uh, from all over the world people will come. We also liberalize the way they maybe, uh, you know, that professions do not have to be, you know, recognized, you know, a plumber in Kosovo and a plumber in Germany. Now we will have a system like traditional immigration countries. You have points, you get three points for age, for language, for you know for skills we have to see how it works out but the main thing is for me that the visa liberalization makes it easy for people to connect whether it's going for the football european championship in germany this summer or just business you know or you go for you know like people uh, media people who just can enter the plane and have uh, have a meeting I know I didn't ask you these figures before, you might not have them, but I'm curious if you do. Do you have figures how long do you have to wait for working visas now? No, that's, uh, that depends also on the type of working visa. Mm -hmm. You know, you have, uh, we have a system which is known where there is, uh, all Western Balkan countries have, a, have um, for, un, for unqualified, let's say, unskilled people who don't speak German, there's a lottery every month and there's a huge demand and the lottery of course that if you're not lucky you know it's like the green card in the US but for skilled people it, it's quite fast you know if you are uh, have a recognized uh, trade but uh, again this will be uh, liberalized further don't okay. ask me for details.